Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Um, the weather is horrendous today. I honestly thought we were getting nearer to what feels like spring because it's been really nice weather and it's disgusting again today. No field work, no tractor work, it's a bit boring. So today me and Alex are milking. Well, we milk every day, we're near enough. Um, so I'm just gonna take you along, show you what we do in the parlor. I've not really done like an updated milking video. So I'm just gonna do a quick come milk with us. And yeah, enjoy the video. If you haven't done already, please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get stuck in. start with the 14 lot um just those that are either new carved or need a bit of more tlc sort of vibes so they normally come in first and yeah let's crack on Routine. So this is just our routine. So what we do first is the cows will come in. They're on auto ID, so they have a little ID tag in their ear. In fact, you might be able to see one. Let's have a look. Yeah. So if you look in her right ear, the one that she's holding back. Oh, you can see this one here. One sec. Yeah. No one's showing me the ear tags. Well, I can see that one. I don't know if you can see what I'm on about. So this cow here, here, it's got a yellow ear tag and the little brown blue one next to it. That's its ID one for the parlor. So when it comes into the parlor, on the trough, we've got like a plate where it reads the rear tag. So the cows will walk in, 
they'll put the heads in the trough, the A tag gets read, and then what is on the computer. So mm -hmm. say 982 here, she comes in, her A tag gets read, and then on the computer it'll say she's midway through her lactation, uh, she's back in calf, blah blah blah. So each cow will get a different amount mm -hmm. of feed. So that's when the hoppers will drop and she'll get fed. So once they're all lined up, they're all getting fed. We then go in with the pre-spray. So we've got a spray like that. Um, everything gets sprayed. They need to stay on, but we were having this conversation the other day. So the spray needs to stay on for like 15 to 30 seconds for it to kill all the bugs. We then go in with a dry wipe and wipe them all off, clean as we can, strip them out, make sure the milk's all right and there's no mastitis or anything like that. And then the unit goes on. And then once the, the cow has finished milking, the unit automatically comes off. Um, and then we go in with a post spray, which is iodine, both iodine based actually. Um, so yeah, and the post spray is there to help kill off any bugs that they might catch when they go outside and that sort of thing. It's also to keep the teats in good condition so you don't want them cracking or anything like that. Um, and yeah, that is our routine. So I'm going to show you as best as I can as we go along. In fact, I'll try and um, show you the whole feeding thing as well and the cow will let me get near enough for it. And then when the cows are about to leave, which they are now, you can see the unit. You totally missed that. But the unit's also flushed. So I'll leave you here and then you can see the next flush go. some mastitis here we're gonna focus you see on the back left that little bit of white stuff falling out Alex you can do the honors can you see not really <laughs> it's fine oh yeah okay so she's finished milking a unit has come off but that's been left there so that's just come out there oh it's drawing a bit isn't it okay where's it gone there a little blob there and a little blob there She's a new effer as well, is she? Yeah. That's annoying. What's yeah. she giving? So she's given 10 litres, nearly 11 litres there. With her being a young heifer, her quarters, you can see, let me try and use it for you. Yeah, please. So it's this back left quarter. It's not hard, it's nice and soft. I'm just gonna strip her out a bit more. So her milk has actually come clear. It was just um, two um blobs at the start so alex has come along with a lot of mint <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna uh so that's udder mint what does udder mint technically do do you know um does it cool the area so it, then it increases blood flow which then will increase healing i guess that's just because like that's check you out <laughs> that's why your eye source is wet, isn't it oh yeah that's what that's that's it. So it's plastered in Udderman and the trick is to put it up its armpit. So when it's walking, it will carry on rubbing it in. It like massages it in. So the more you can massage it in, leave it on. It goes cool, like Alex said, Encour encourages blood flow, which encourages healing. So give her a spray. We've jotted a number down, 2160. We'll check her in the morning. If she's still drawing it, then we will end up tubing her, but hopefully with a bean a heifer, a bit of mint could do the trick. This is not meant to happen. <laughs> Don't go up there. Last time I said that was Oh yeah, should I try that again? Little bugger. Come on, good girl. Don't try and get up there. skinny heifers. Might be a bit of a squeeze but still get through. Easy.
right, so here we have our new car on, 210. Yeah, so she's come in, she's been pre-sprayed, she's been wiped, she's got a funny little shaped bag, this one. And I'm just gonna strip her out now, and it, yeah, there we go. So that is orb seal. So if you've watched any of the drying off vlogs, you'll see that that's what we tube them with when we dry them off. So that's a teat sealant, and that's been in her teats for uh, about two months now. You see how nice and yellow and creamy that milk is? That's what we call the good stuff. Colostrum. Lovely. Right. like stink. We don't actually take that much often when they first hard. Um, we don't want to take too much calcium out of the system. So if you can see the line on the kit now, that's literally been on for 30 seconds. We won't take much more off than that. But then again, I don't want to run in with milk. So I might just take a little bit more and then the extra colostrum that we have will end up freezing for any cows that don't give enough colostrum for the babies you get that as well they won't give enough so we end up going to the freezer and defrosting some so they definitely get some good um colostrum into the system she's slowing down a bit now but that's plenty really that'll feed her calf no problem there's about six liters in there i'd say right have a look you want to see how Ooh, let it focus look how thick and creamy that is that'd be so good on your wheat a bit no joke. Right, this is going to be a, a clearer indicator. I'm seeing it here. Oh, and that one's yellow just to spice things up. <laughs> so the little round uh, tag in its ear, that is normally blue, but we must have had a packet of yellow ones. Anyway, so if you can see this board, sorry lass, okay. Dude, but you see this um, sort of the black board behind her head. She's going to move, you can see it there next to the blue, it's the black plastic board there you are as soon as her ear tag swipes past that her food will then drop into the trough but she's near enough eating it all aren't you good girl Just, I have a disadvantage with my back cow, just because it's a bit harder to get on in it. Anyway, we're just waiting for our camera woman. Meg and Harry are going to film. Let's just show Harry. Ooh, 
it's so tiny. <laughs> Go. Instagram and uh, dad had a word with him and they sent us two scrapers. Do you prefer it? Yeah, it's good to be fair. What's, you have to tell us what the difference is. Uh, well, it's made out of aluminium. It's yeah. got these to be fair. The other ones over the last like a couple of months and then uh, this bit goes weak and snaps off. Yeah, we get through quite a few, don't we? Yeah, but this has got these supports, which is good. All beefed up with this bit on top. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a lot beefier. Really. Last longer. Yeah. Nice and light, easy to use. So if you're looking for a de decent squeegee, super scraper. Super really scraper. Strong. Jets. 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 Super scraper. Check them out. <laughs> Right, I'm going to leave the video there now guys, that's 346 cows milked, that's the most we've ever milked on this farm, I literally can't believe it, I wonder if we finished so late. Um, so yeah, everything's milked, everything's done, I'm just about to take my jetters off and then get it ready for the morning. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, if you haven't done already, please don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, do all the good stuff and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys! <laughs>